1989 and back to the cauldron of Hampden Park for the 107th meeting in a match now for the Rouse Cup. Both teams weakened by the absence of Arsenal and Liverpool players, but John Fashionu of Wimbledon is there, winning his second cap for England. His partner up front is Tony Cotty, while Des Walker and Terry Butcher at the back are expected to take care of Mo Johnston and Ali McCoist, the spearhead of Scotland's attack. As usual, there's a terrific atmosphere inside Hamden, and with 15 minutes gone and the score nil-nil, we can join our commentator, Barry Davis. Robson's head up. Fashionu. Waddle. Webb has got forward, nice touch inside, Robson, did well, good save, good save by Jim Layton, because in the way the ball's sitting up a little bit, probably drew Jim Layton a bit further than he might have wished, but he did well to cover it. Waddle outside of the boot, Webb with the touch inside, there's the moment it fell for Robson, good save, in fact Layton held his uh, ground very well indeed. Nevin, got a shirt tugging. Web. The sting taken out of it. Shilton quick to get on with play and change the angle of attack. Pierce. Cotty. Stevens is going say his tough colleague. They were. Stevens was at Everton but left before Cotty arrived, of course. Curling, and that's a great goal by Chris Waddle. Oh, that's a lovely goal by Waddle. He can put that in his collection, all right. England had the lead after 20 minutes. Chris Waddle's sixth goal for his country. And he really met that with the meat of his forehead. Gary Stevens cross. Waddle unmarked coming across the six yard line, really met it well. And one has to have some sympathy for John Fashionu. He is being forced to withdraw. So pleased to get a second chance. But the, in, the injury that he sustained on Tuesday, troubling him again after getting a knock in an identical place. And on comes Steve Bull for his first cap. Leash. Connor. Stake by Butcher to McCoist. Nevin. McStay leaves it. Aitken well struck, but well wide. But at least the attack ended with a Scottish shot of sorts. Too many of them haven't. Nevin. Back again to Nevin. Oh, there was one touch too many from him. And it took the chance away. Waddle. Long for ball. Took it well, and struck it well! Doesn't matter the level. If you know where the goal is, and your name is Steve Bull, you have a go for it. What a good strike. Heck of a good ball by Waddle. And no hesitation. Really good strike. A couple of good shots on goal in the statistics column at the start of the second half. If you're finicky, you would say that Bulls was going wide and shouldn't count, but well, I hope it does. And Waddle's pass out of the textbook of Hoddle. Webb. There's Waddle again. Well picked up by Waddle. 
unlucky. Good advantage play by the referee. And nice combination between Cotty and Waddle. Cotty, I'm sure, was fouled there. The referee allowed the play to go on. And as Leighton came towards Waddle, they were trying to get over his head. And he gave it too much. Chased by Bull. Matisse was in trouble. Trevor Stephen. Leash got himself lost. And another good strike, but wide. This one from Trevor Stephen. And England make their second substitution. Off comes Tony Cotty. And on comes the birthday boy, Paul Gascoigne, who's uh, 22 years old today. Gather, as everybody calls him. Ten minutes remaining. Ball. And again! Oh! in the corner what a start scoring on his debut the man from the third division and Wolves or they're about to leave there scores on his first appearance at senior level an eye for goal again no hesitation bang oh look at the gaps now on the terraces disappointed Scots home for their tea something stronger <laughs> now, winning is a useful habit and England have won comfortably here in Hamden first goal from Chris Waddle in the 20th minute and the second goal from Steve Ball scoring on his debut with 10 minutes of the match remaining and with that England victory at Hamden Park the record between the countries now reads played 107, England 43 wins, Scotland 40, 24 draws. In total, 356 goals have been scored, and there would have been few to match the one scored by Kevin Keegan at Wembley in 1979. From me, John Motson, goodbye. Keegan, looking greatly forward. Could be away from Keegan, there's the one, two. 